Beatles. Sweeping down upon the underworld to smash gangland comes the mysterious, all-powerful character who is a problem to the police, but a crusader for law. In reality, Dan Garrett, a rookie patrolman, loved by everyone, but suspected by none of being the Blue Beetle. As the Blue Beetle, he hides behind a strange mask and a suit of impenetrable blue chain armor, flexible as silk, but stronger than steel. Today's episode of the Fox feature, The Blue Beetle, is the second part of a story entitled Two Rackets in One. In the first episode, several trucks belonging to the Inner City Trucking Company have been wrecked or damaged by fire. The head of the independent S&M Poultry Company has been killed in an accident after eating some poisoned mushroom in a restaurant owned by Nick Martinez. And both the Inner City Trucking Company and the S&M Poultry Company have refused to join or pay tribute to so-called protective associations, which Dan Garrett believes are operated by Julio Martinez, wealthy brother of Nick. Also on the same day, J.L. Williamson, president of the Drovers and Provision Dealers Bank, of which Julio Martinez is a director, has been killed by a bomb attached to the starter of his motor car. As the episode ended, the Blue Beetle, who interrupted a gay party at Julio Martinez's home, in the hope of bluffing some compromising admission out of him, is involved in a fight with Julio's hireling. As he is chasing Julio, he is tripped up by a lariat in the hands of Mexican Pete. The crooks, before fleeing, gag and bind him and string him up by the feet from a large crossbeam as the sound of police sirens fade in. Good thing those... Crooks didn't put that gag in tight. Now if I can just double up like a jackknife, <clears throat> free my hands. There, my hands are free. Now to double up, <clears throat> grab the rope. <sighs> Got it. Hello there. Open up, it's the law. Why not break in the door, man again? I'm not breaking in any man's door to ask him some civil questions. Besides. We ain't here to make an arrest. We're just here to question Julio Martinez or Martinez or whatever his name is. Well, a man with a name like that can't be on the level. Maybe he's a crook. And what makes you say that? Well, he's a foreigner, ain't he? Now, look who's talking. And you, one generation out of County Kilkenny and Ireland. Are you a crook officer or two? Well, uh, that's different. Oh, it is now. Now, well, maybe he ain't home. And maybe your mother's cat had kittens. Well, why don't you try the door? Maybe it ain't locked. And maybe you'd like a kick in the shin. There, see? Just what I told you. Uh, shut up. Anyway, I did my duty according to regulations. Hey, look, Mike. There's a rope hanging from that beam. Maybe Martinez... Hung himself and his ghost is hidden his body. Well, well, all right. What do we do now? Well, we'll report back to headquarters. Come on, now. Maybe the chief will send us out here again in the morning. Gosh, that was close. Lucky that beam was wide, or Manigan and O'Toole would have spotted my blue beetle armor. Now to get down and make a little search among Julio's private papers. He didn't take them with him. The blue beetle's going to put Julio Martinez and his gang behind bars. Well, Danny, you had a narrow squeak last night. Yes, but I got what I went after. Listen to this. I found it among some burned papers in Julio's fireplace. What is it? It's a letter from J.L. Williamson, president of the Drovers and Provision Dealers Bank, to Julio Martinez. Incriminating? Very. Part of the letter is burned away, but enough's left. Now listen. I have received proof you are secret power, protective associations. Inasmuch, several lives snuffed out terrorist, look upon you as murderer. Unless you resign directorship, bank, I shall turn evidence over to, and that's all except the signature. He had the goods on Martinez, apparently. Yes, and this letter will help to hang Senor Martinez. But first you'll have to catch your man. 
Didn't you say you heard him tell his men to meet him aboard his yacht? That's right. Well, what are you going to do? The Blue Beetle is going to commandeer the fastest plane he can find and scour the seacoast. Well, so long, Doc. The Blue Beetle's going to fly high, fast, and true. Tomorrow at this time, the trucking and poultry rackets will be smashed. Good flying weather today, Joe. Yeah. Understand, the Army's going to test those new bomb sites this morning. Yeah, there's one of the bombers over there now. Boys ran it out of the hangar a few minutes ago. Mm. Hey, hey, look. There's someone there driving out to the plane. See that low-slung roadster there? Yeah. Well, that's not an Army car, either. Come on, let's see who it is. Yeah. Looks like that mysterious guy who's always wearing blue chain armor and a mysterious mask. The Blue Beetle? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Come on, we better speed up. He's going to climb into that cockpit. Hey there! Hey! Hey, get out of that plane! Get out of that plane! Get out of that plane! Hey, look! He's taxiing down the field. And there he goes into the air. Yeah. Look at him. Why he's stepping on the field? He's headed for the coast. Yeah. Gee, what nerve! Stealing an army bombing plane. I think to be in his boots when the army catches up with him. Must be mighty important business when the Blue Beetle defies the United States Army. Yes, and there's three live bombs in the bomb rack of that plane. Conchita, she is beautiful. Oh, I like a man who owns big yachts. I think Conchita marry man who owns big yachts. How you like, Julio? Uh, that is matter we will discuss when the other matter is just that. What do you mean? There is much work to be done. Money to be made to be sure a mouth will be closed permanently. You mean the Blue Beetle? The Blue Beetle is now in the hands of the police. They will not believe him. I have destroyed written evidence, but there is human evidence that must be destroyed. Oh, you are a ruthless man. Conchita love ruthless man. Uh, beg pardon, Senor Capitan. There is plane off there, sir. Moving fast this oh. way. Hmm. His uh, army plan. Huh. He is no concern of ours. Tell Manuel to head out to sea. Aye, sir. And uh, tell Sparks to get in touch with Rogi ashore by wireless and report. Aye, aye, sir. But look, Julio. That plane, she's coming down. She's coming close to us. What do you see in those five glasses, Julio? Our interfering masquerader. You mean the Blue Beetle? See. Si. Oh. Pedro. I go. Pedro, that plane is the Blue Beetle. Give him... With my compliments, a salute from the machine gun. Si, senor. I do it front row. <laughs> ah, Pedro is one good shot, huh? Si. Mr. Blue Beetle does not like our salute. He is fly away. Maybe now he will mind his own business. I hope so. But look, he's coming back. So? Well, if he wishes more salutes, we give him plenty. But maybe he'll give us the same thing. Conchita no like bullets. You go below, Conchita. I do not want you to be here. Si, senor, I go downstairs. It is not so noisy. Hey, look, he's diving right for the ship. You'll be dead a bit. That's a bombing plane. Hey, he's released the bomb. understand Julio and some of his men were killed when you bombed his yacht, Danny. Yes, but Conchita and Julio's brother Nick were rescued by the Coast Guard. Uh, what about the bomber? Well, I managed to land her safely on Randall's Beach. She'll be all right with a little going over. Uh, lucky Uncle Sam's men didn't catch you. Yes, it was. As soon as I beached the plane, I dived in again and swam, mostly underwater, to Ellis Point. I waited there until dark, and then slipped through the police lines, which were spread out to capture the Blue Beetle. Well, Danny... According to the newspapers, Nick confessed his part in the racket and also incriminated several politicians who were bribed by his brother Julio 
to prevent action by the police against Julio's fake protective association. That's fine. If it weren't for crooked politicians, these business rackets couldn't flourish as they do. Well, they don't last long after the Blue Beetle starts nipping. The Blue Beetle will continue to nip as long as there are crooks preying on honest businessmen. And so two rackets were smashed by the Blue Beetle with one bomb. The lesson of this story is that the rackets in this country are being rapidly eliminated by aroused citizens and the agencies of law and order. What new adventures await the Blue Beetle in his one-man crusade against crime and the underworld? Can he continue to outwit the forces of evil? These questions will be answered in the next adventure of the Blue Beetle. Copyrighted Fox feature, appearing in Mystery Men Comics Magazine and the Blue Beetle Magazine. The Blue Beetle is on the air twice a week on this same station. Consult the broadcast schedule in your local newspapers. And don't forget to listen in to... The Blue Beetle. The Blue Beetle.